Hi guys. Uh, sorry I'm out again. I've been battling COVID and I feel like losing. Um, I just wanted to do a really quick video on how to find um, your images that you need to use. So in order to do this part of the project, you do need to be completely done everything up until this point, meaning your whole final draft is typed, okay? You followed the whole formatting video and your paper should look like this, where it's horizontal, you have your title at the top and your name, and then at the bottom you have your sources that are in the footer. I showed you how to do all that in the last video. Okay, and then make sure that all of your headings here, that they all match, okay, they should all be the same. So it kind of just makes it look a little bit more um, like one piece of writing so that it all is coherent is what I'm looking for, that it all looks like it fits together, okay? It's okay if you have this giant white space. As we add the pictures in, it's going to rotate the pictures down and around, I mean, sorry, the words down and around, and it'll fill both columns up, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is have your um, fact sheet open. This should be in your Google Drive. Remember, you had to make a copy of your um, research paper before you started all this. So you will find this under your recents in your Google Drive, okay? Once this is open, you're coming up to um, a new tab. It'll bring you to Google. Now, typically, I know that you guys would just do a search and look for whatever pictures that you wanted to use. However, what you need to understand is that pictures are copyrighted just like words on a page. So just like we can't copy and paste from a website into our paper because that's plagiarism, which is technically stealing, doing a general search and taking a picture and including it in a paper would also be like stealing because a lot of those pictures are copyrighted. However, there is a very, <clears throat> sorry, large source of images that you can choose from that are free to use. They're free of copyright. They're considered open source and it's super easy to find. Okay, so in order to do that, once you're at your Google screen, you're going to come up to the images search in the upper right hand corner here, choose images. It'll bring us to the main images search, which looks exactly like a normal Google search. And then down in the bottom right hand corner, there is this section that says settings. So we're going to go ahead and click settings and we're going to come up to where it says advanced search. This is going to give us the options that we need to only find what's called open source images. So I'm going to search. I'm doing the giant panda, so I'm going to search giant panda. Don't get any more specific than that. All the way at the very bottom, the very last option is usage rights. So when I drop down usage rights, you want to choose creative commons. Commercial means the ones that you can purchase and buy to use. Creative commons are the ones that are free. Anyone can use, there are no copyrights. So you're gonna click on that and then go ahead and click advanced search. When you do that, every image that shows up now is an image that's free to use. You know that you are doing the ethically right thing where you're not stealing somebody's um, photography. You're allowed to use each of these pictures. When you're choosing a picture, try to choose things that are showing different activities. So for instance, this one shows my panda eating. Maybe there's one, um, let's see, that's a little bit different. Oh, here we go. He's rolling in the snow, kind of playing because we know they're playful creatures. And here's one where he's sitting and taking a bath. So try to get ones that kind of show different activities so it doesn't get so boring for your reader. So let's say I'm choosing this picture first. Do not copy this. This is what's called a thumbnail. Thumbnails are much smaller, <coughs> sorry, um, picture files. So they're um, not as high quality. When you go to stretch them, that's when you get the ones that are kind of pixelated and boxy or blurry. It's because they're low size files. So when you click on it, it will open the larger file, the full size one. And this is the one that you can now copy and paste. So we're going to right click two fingers at the same time, copy image, and then we're going to go ahead and click where we're going to put it. So I would like it by my diet because it's showing him eating. And we're going to do control V as in Victor to paste. Okay. And there it is. So I would like you to leave it in, in line with text. Don't change it to text wrap because that will mess everything up. So just leave it like this. If you want it centered in between the words, you can use the justify text, the alignment here and use the center option. And that'll center it right in the middle of your text there. You can also resize it if you feel like you need it bigger or smaller. Just always grab from the corner to do that. 
All right, so that's one picture. You need three pictures all together. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna find another picture that I think is a good one. Here's the one where he's kind of sleeping. Right click copy, make sure it's copy image. That's the one you need. Come back in, this is kind of like what he looks like. So I'm gonna put this over top of appearance here. Control V to paste. If it wants to go, there it goes. Sometimes it's a little slow and laggy. Definitely going to shrink this down because it's humongous. Okay, and I think I'll center this one also. Let me find my center tool. Uh, there it is. Okay, still a little big. I go a little smaller on that. There we go. Actually, I don't like it centered, so now I'm going to put it back to the left. Okay, that looks better. All right, and then the last one, I need one more picture. Let's do where he, where's the one where he's sitting in the pool? Because I think he looks kind of helpless there. Let's see. There he is. He's like, help save me. So I'm going to put this one over top of where it says help. Control V to paste. Shrink it down once again. Oops. Undo that. I grabbed the crop by mistake. Let's try that again. Here we go. Shrink it down. This one I'm going to center. And you really want to make sure everything still fits on one page. So if you find you're bleeding onto a second page, you're going to need to shrink your pictures, move them around a little bit, try to make them fit a little bit better um, so that everything moves up. If you have a hard time and you're not able to make everything fit, then you can go ahead and wait until I'm back next week and I can help you then. Oh, but notice here, see how population is down here. I'm going to enter it down until it's back around up top because I want it to be part of that heading there. All right, and then maybe I'll just enter this down, adding some white space in here, add an enter after this. I'm going to have to now backspace this a little bit to make sure it fits. So it's kind of like playing around to make things work. All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so that's your goal today. If you get this all completed and finished, you can go ahead and attach it in Google Classroom underneath of this week's assignment, which is the week of five, sorry, not five, oh my goodness, 11, 14. So you're just going to come into this assignment and attach it. If you need help with that, again, I can help that with you that next week. But if you can get this all finished up and wrapped up, that would be great. And if you finish ahead of time before the end of class, please go ahead and jump, on, jump onto code and get started um, with the code assignment that I have uh, put out there as well. All right, good luck with everything. I hope you do well. And sorry my voice sounded terrible through this whole thing.